So Moist Critical is a greedy mother using the power of his popularity to gain revenue from a competition. What's up with this you may ask? Well, there is a competition going on on a new game called Omega Strikers. I'll have you know I don't play this game at all. I only know what's going on through a friend of mine. But many of you all may have heard that Omega Strikers is having an open beta competition. One that is giving multiple prizes out to the top 10 teams. The top 10 teams get their emotes and more into the game. All the top 3 get a character skin and also a percentage of the revenue that the game produces. <laughs> now, here's where the problem lies. The competition allows players to choose what team they want to represent. And whichever team that is, your win is counted. Requirements to win the competition are this. Whoever has the most wins at the end of the week. So anyone can choose a team, and whichever teams have the most wins get the top prizes. This was all fine and dandy at the start, because majority of the people competing were of same likability and popularity, except for one, which actually caused the developers to change how the prize system works. Originally, it was only going to be the top winner that was given monetary prizes. But because there is one person that was ultimately going to win, they spread it out so that at least some people get some prizes and it's not just one person. Which helps a bit for these smaller creators. In the past day or two, Moist Critical joined. He then made a rally towards his viewers to help him get the first place. This is such a big problem because the amount of people that Critical influence is massive. Within the past couple of days, he went from barely having any wins to being the next on the top of the leaderboard. In literally one day. This is just unfair for those who don't have enough viewers to support. Now Critical says he's going to be using this money for his own business ventures and building esports. Let's just hope he makes those sports fair because he's be stealing prize money for this endeavor. And that's the only reason he wants it. Because he's operating this business at a loss. His loss being six figures a month. From his own words, he doesn't care if you like the game. You can hate it, love it, whatever. But he just wants you to earn money for him. And that's straight from his own mouth. Here's the thing, everyone should be allowed to play, but larger teams, they straight up make it unfair. Even if you support another creator, you're going to end up boosting these other teams because they're saturating the player base. Your win counts double for theirs, so it's automatically going to be negative for everyone else. I have two suggestions. One being that the top 10 people on the little boards for wins have a tournament to truly show the best of the best. That way, it's a win by skill versus being able to just be popular. I think that definitely makes it much more entertaining than just having a popular person take over. My second thought is there's still a few days left so the developers can augment the algorithm of wins based on the amount of players on a team. So that way underdog wins are worth more than teams that are popular. I hope everyone gets to see this. You should fight for this, especially if you're a team in the competition because this is unfair. You're straight up being robbed by people that have more followers.